setting up our rear end today, we're going to be replacing some bushings. So hopefully this goes pretty smooth. I actually went and sprayed the bolts last week. Time to lube up some bolts. I'm going to put some of this on there. This is some really good stuff. Um, people swear by it, including me. Number one selling penetrant, says right on the can. This stuff's no joke. It's really a lifesaver, and I could preach for it any day. It's going to drip it everywhere, but it's okay. I got some cardboard down. Not the end of the world. going to put a hefty amount on each bolt. Be sure to wipe it off your exhaust as best as you can. That's going to start smelling funny when it starts to heat up. That should really help out when trying to get the bolts off. And let's just hope that we don't strip anything or don't shear anything off. And uh, I'll be happy. So this is pretty much how I would want to spend like every Friday night, every Saturday night, pretty much every weekend. This, sirens. This is what I love to do. I love to install new car parts. I love to learn things. I just like to get under the car and get dirty. I'm just one of those dudes. Always been that way. Always will be that way. It's just the way I am. I can't help it. So you're probably wondering what we're actually going to be installing tonight on the old uh, Subi here. This is what we're installing tonight. A couple bushings and a couple lockdown bolts. This is the Parent Performance Rear Diff slash Subframe Lockdown System. I don't believe these bushings have ever been replaced, so I'm kind of excited to get in there and check out the condition of them and hopefully we can really improve the feel of the car. It's a common questions answered. It says a small amount of road noise will be heard with this kit, so keep that in mind. The clunking that occurs during hard launches will be eliminated. Well, I really don't have to worry about that because I don't really launch my car. I mean, it's a WRX and I don't want to break the tranny. So I'm pretty easy on her, but I don't know, maybe one day, maybe in the dirt, I'll try it out in the dirt. It also says a more positive feel will be noticed in the drivetrain, meaning, you know, more responsive and just more direct, so. Kind of looking forward to that. I actually had a subscriber recommend this mod to me. He said it really stiffened up the car and it, it really made a difference. And it's pretty cheap too. I think it was about 50 bucks for this kit, and which is relatively cheap for you know an aftermarket mod on any car really. And uh, so yeah, shout out to that guy. All right, now we just have to figure out where all this stuff goes under the car. So hopefully I can show you guys how to do it and I'll probably be teaching myself something along the way, so. Let's go on ahead and get this started. My poor car has been neglected. I haven't washed it in probably three weeks. I've just been busy, busy, busy. Safety first. Safety first. We got the e-brake pulled and the car's in gear. It shouldn't roll forward. Oh yeah, you bet you. You bet you the headlamp's on. Time to get under the car. It's safely raised by the jack stands. So we have to get these two bolts these two bolts we got to get loose and we're also gonna have to get this rusted thing off because here's one of our bushings here we're gonna be replacing same thing with uh, where's the other one same thing on this side we're gonna have to do some more inspecting after we get the bolts out or maybe I should say if we get the bolts out but these bolts man these things are just corroded and pretty worn out we're gonna grab some tools and see if we can break these things loose so I just went and grabbed a 17 millimeter socket here I'm just trying to get it on the bolt here, or on the nut. I mean, it's pretty corroded. Look at that, it's just rusted here. This just may be a failed video. You can just see how I'm making my own little marks on there. I'm trying to establish the shape again, because it's just rusted over. Same with all these as well. I'm going to need a deeper 17 socket for this one. And this one. Okay, here's my arsenal. And I think we might be in luck. We've got a 17 deep socket here. This should do the trick. It'll definitely fit, but I don't think it's gonna come loose. Maybe I should have a better attitude about this. We need positive vibes right now, not negative vibes. Yes, we can, yes, we can. Well, I guess I'm just gonna attempt to break one free and see what happens. It's gonna be a 17 millimeter wrench on this side. So it's a nut and bolt combo. Try some brute force. Just to be safe, I got a breaker bar. go we are spinning and the bolt is still in one piece and the nut is not stripped I guess we're doing something right here oh, let's hope for the rest of them to come off like that I'm gonna move over to the left side see if I can get this baby off check out those tires Ooh, we need some meat on them rims gotta bust some of that rust off to get it shaped like a nut again mm, 
All right, I hear it squeaking. I had to move the exhaust slightly just, just to get it lined up square. Just gonna slip the wrench on the other side. Pretty rusted, but hey, they're breaking free, so I guess that's okay with me. Time for these two now. Fortunately, I don't have a deep socket that's gonna fit my breaker bar. So I'm going on ahead and gonna risk trying to uh, break this free with this trusty ratchet here. I'm gonna give it a couple hits with the rubber mallet and hopefully she breaks free. Ow, that was my finger. Are you doing me dirty or are you doing me good? I think I cracked it loose. Yeah, we're spinning. One more to go. Oops. Thankfully, we were able to get all of our bolts broken free. Before I go any further, I'm gonna grab my jack over there and get the differential supported before I pull out any bolts. Got my trusty piece of wood just to support the differential while I take these bolts out and get the bracket off. You won't be able to get the bolt out completely until you drop the differential. So I'm just gonna loosen it up as much as I can and then move on to the next side. Can I get it? Yep. All right, there's the first stud. Look how clean that is. That's impressive. It's been hiding from all the elements. One more stud to go. Stud number two out. Now we should be able to drop the differential just a bit to get those last bolts out. Slide right out the back. There we go. The nut and bolt combo. Just remember which way you pulled it out. That way you can put it back together correctly. Almost free. There we go. The other nut and bolt combo. Now time to pull that bracket out. Hopefully it'll just slide right out for us. There we are. This is your rear differential uh, support brace. And this is where you're gonna find the bushings. Pretty brittle, pretty blown out. I was mistaken. I thought we were gonna actually press these bushings out, but after I read the directions, haha, what a surprise. I thought I would be replacing these bushings here, but it turns out all we're gonna do is get the nice new parent bushings and we're gonna press them in on each side. We're gonna have one bushing here, one there, one on this side, one on that side. I really thought we were gonna replace this whole bushing, but it looks like we're just adding some support to it and making it that much more solid. I probably should be adding a little bit of grease to these, but the bushings do come a little greased up already, but if you wanna add a little bit more, feel free to. Give it a nice firm push. Just work it on in, squeeze it in, a little persuasion. Get in your hole. I happen to have a little bit of a petroleum jelly on hand. I'm gonna go on ahead and grease these up a little bit more. Should help the bushing slide into place a little easier. Well, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Hopefully when I put the bolts back in, it'll kinda squeeze everything in place and everything will line up correctly. Let's try to bolt this thing back up to the car. And I also noticed there's a nice little convenient arrow pointing up so you know which way this bracket goes back on. Pretty nice. Thanks, Subaru. Let's see if I give it a little tap. There we go. Looks like the bushings were pushed right into place, just as I planned, which is so sweet. This other side might give me an issue because there's an exhaust pipe right in the way. Let's see if I can't just give it a good hit. Well, that sucked. I spent the last 10 minutes looking for my never seize so I can get these bolts back on so they won't ever seize. I went a little bit too high and the bolt wouldn't line up correctly. So what I did, I grabbed a little extension to put in there and then I took a little screwdriver and I was able to pry down on it until I was lined up correctly. So there's a little tip, a little trick to the trade. It appears to be lined up pretty straight. There we go. Once I'm certain everything is straight, I'm gonna feed this bolt in the back just the way I pulled it out. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of Never Seize. It'll just help you out along the way. Make your job easier. Hopefully it'll let it slide through the hole easier as well. Gonna bring the diff back down a little bit so I can get those bolts in. Just enough. I'll wiggle the bolt into place. It's kinda tough to get it started. 
What is your deal, bro? There we go, I can get the net started now. Now we don't want to tighten this all the way down until we get the other sides lined up. Hopefully you guys can see this, but I can see the hole isn't lining up. So I'm just slowly wedging a screwdriver through the hole and uh, prying down on it so I can align it a little straighter and I can get that bolt in there. I just applied a generous amount of Never Stays on there. Hopefully we can get it started at least. I don't think I will be able to get it started on this side just because the exhaust is in the way. So I'm gonna have to go for it, go for broke and start feeding it through the back. But I'm coming through the back side here. Just wanted to kind of show you guys that side. Hopefully you guys can see this. I never know because it's a GoPro. Come on, baby. You can do it. There's like barely any room for your fingers in there. There we go. I think we got the nut started. Yes, sir, Bob. Try to get a couple turns on this just to get it started. Now all we have to do is line up our holes for our studs. Just gonna raise the jack up until we are aligned, just so I can get the thread started here. Just adjust the height until it'll screw in smooth. You're gonna wanna torque down all these bolts to 70 foot-pounds. Unfortunately, my torque wrench is too bulky to fit on here, and a short socket won't fit, and it only fits with the deep socket. Extension's too long, it hits the sway bar, so I'm just gonna do some guesstimating and just torque it down to the best of my ability to hit 70 foot-pounds. Well, I think my torque wrench is broken, dang it. It's not even making a clicking noise, and it's leaking oil out the top. Come on, craftsman. What kind of craftsmanship is that? Alright, got a good torque on there. We're back. We're back to finish this job. I ran out of time last night, so we are going to finish up the job today and get this car back on the road. Alright, now where were we? Let's take a look at our new bushings we installed last night. Got the nice pair in bushings in there. Two on each side. That should stiffen up the uh, differential support bracket there. Now it's time to move on to the lockdown bolts. And the lockdown bolts. I'm gonna be looking straight up at it. This is gonna be, this is the hole we're gonna screw in the lockdown bolt to. And there's gonna be one on the other side as well. This is the lockdown bolt that the pairing kit comes with. I dabbed a little bit of anti-seize on there just to help the threads go in. And hopefully we have a smooth entrance. Having a little bit of an issue getting it started. I'm gonna hit the hole with a little bit of a lubricating oil. That should help us out a bit getting the bolt started. I can get one little turn and then it'll get tight. I'm not sure if that's cross-threading or what. It looks semi-decent. Looks pretty straight. All right, so this bolt's gonna be a 19 millimeter. Did not know that. I wonder if the SCIs come with this stock from the factory. I'm sure they do. I mean, why else would they have a nice threaded hole for you? And why couldn't they just add this to the WRX? It doesn't seem that hard. So got a ways to go. Where's my impact driver when I need one? <clears throat> Whew, making progress. Time to bring in some leverage. Got my big old torque wrench. I think they said about 60 foot pounds for this bolt. There was one of those odd noises they were talking about. Pretty sure that's just the bolt aligning the subframe. Apparently, my torque wrench is still broken and it's not clicking when it's supposed to. So I'm just giving it a good snug and calling it a day. So that's it for this side. Let's go on the other side and get the other bolt in. All right, same thing. I just went and sprayed the bolt with a little penetrating fluid. I also sprayed the hole a little bit. I'm just trying to make my job easier here. All right, I think I got a bite on it. Let's see if I can get a crank or two, make it official. Yep, I think we're in, boys. Let the cranking begin. I had to bring out the even bigger extension. We got the long one with the short one. That way I can get past this exhaust pipe here and give me some more, uh, some more cranking area. All the way. 
Should hear a pop any second now. I see the bushing about to align with the frame. Whew, it's about time. I do highly recommend an impact driver if you're gonna attempt to do this. There's the bang. Oh, pfft, sand, dirt in my eye. Ah, almost there. <laughs> so if you have a working torque wrench, you're gonna wanna be sure to torque these down to 60 foot pounds. So I'm just doing a little guesstimation as usual. Ah, okay, I think that's good enough. All right, here we are. We got our lockdown bolts in place. One on that side. And of course, the one over here. All we have is two more bushings to go. We're gonna locate where the other two bushings go. Back right wheel is right here. We're gonna go directly under and we need to loosen up this 17 millimeter bolt. And also we're gonna remove these two 12 millimeter bolts right here holding the plane on. I actually didn't spray these bolts either, so let's hope that we have a little bit of luck on our side tonight. Not too bad. From the looks of it, I'm lucky the bolt didn't shear right off. Look at that, look at all that rust coming out of there. Look at this thing, dang. Talk about corroded. Let's see if we can get these 12s off as well. No problem. All right, not bad at all. The bushing comes slightly lubed from Perrin. But if you wanna add a little bit more, go for it. According to the directions, all we need to do is pull this cross member down a little bit. That way we can fit the bushing up right on top of the OEM one. I'm just gonna get this plate out of the way. Whoopsie, my GoPro SD card was full. Well, what you guys missed was I actually pulled this metal plate straight off the top here. So I have my new bushing here and I have the metal piece sitting right on top of it. And I'm gonna attempt to sandwich it in between this brace. Let's see how much it'll fold down here. All right. Ooh, that looks good. That looks real good, look at that. Fits nicely. I'm just gonna make sure it's even on all sides. And I guess that's it. <laughs> Time to put the bracket back on. It's gonna go just like this. Boom, da da boom. Bing, ba da boom. Well, that wasn't so bad now, was it? I really didn't know what to expect. We go all the way up and start threading in, which it is. Cool, cool. Again, if you guys have a working torque wrench, you're gonna wanna torque these 12 millimeters down to 25 foot-pounds. And the middle one, the 17 millimeter, is gonna be 100 foot-pounds. So if you want the torque specs, there they are. Give that one a good torque as well. I guess that's it, time to move on to the other side. That was tightening. <laughs> you idiot. That's weird. This is like a brand new bolt on this side compared to the other one. Look at that. It's still shiny on all sides. That's a little suspicious. Alright, let's pull this cross member down and try to get that metal piece off the top here. There we go, a little plate that comes off just like the other side. Now we're gonna grab our new bushing, place it on there like such, and just sandwich it in between. It's really nothing to it. Just get it as straight as possible, even on all sides, and you should be golden. Look at that, already time to put the bracket back on. Nothing to it. Again, 25 foot-pounds on these two. And 100 on this one. 100 foot-pounds. Just make sure your bushing stays straight while you're tightening it up. Ow, bonk my head. Feels about right. 
Everything's looking good, everything's nice and tight. I think this job is finally coming to a close. I'm curious to find out if I'm gonna feel a difference or not with these new bushings installed, but I definitely wanna start uh, replacing more of the bushings on the car and uh, just getting her back to factory spec, you know? Back in 2006 when she was just a young lad, just everything all brand new, you know? I just want her to be performing at her uh, optimum performance. I'm gonna go on a test drive tomorrow and I'll bring you guys along, but until then, we will see you tomorrow. All right, it's the next morning and we're ready for a test drive. U turn, you know, get to talking. But initial thoughts? You can feel the car put down the power a little bit more. It feels more responsive, more direct. No joke, I swear, my car feels faster just because I think it's more responsive now with these bushings installed. It's almost like a whole nother car. A couple bushings and two lockdown bolts, and you got you got a different car. It's just instant, instant power. Now it will create a little bit more road noise. You'll hear a little bit more. You'll feel a little bit more bumps and it just won't be, you know, a luxury ride, but you know, who buys a Subaru for a luxury ride? A lot of people don't, including me. I don't buy, I don't, I didn't buy the Subaru to, you know, have a nice smooth ride. I bought this Subaru for an adventure and a long bumpy road. The odd thing is we didn't really replace any bushings. We just added bushings to the already existing OEM bushings. That was kind of odd to me, but I know you can buy the full complete bushing. It's a little bit more expensive. Like I said, this kit is on the cheaper side. It's just over 50 bucks. And for the result that you get, I think it's highly worth it. Highly worth it. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to pick one of these kits up. I mean, you can also just Google it and find something yourself, but I got it off rallysportdirect.com. Normally, I always get my stuff from there. So I guess that pretty much wraps this video up. I'm back here in the industrials, kind of exploring. I haven't really been over here before. I just wanted to do a little test drive, make it official, you know? I can't wait to get the other bushings installed on this car and just do a complete bushing swap. I'm sure this thing will handle a lot better. She's a worn out girl and she needs some new bushings, man. She's all blown out. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and I hope it can help you out. And I hope it can motivate you to do the same mod on your WRX. And man, I really want you guys to feel the difference. And again, shout out to that subscriber who recommended this mod to me. Um, it's something that I thought about doing, but he actually convinced me to do it a little bit sooner than later. He said it really made a difference and man, I could really tell what he's talking about. Anyone with a set of tools and a jack and jack stands, I think it can get it done. Hey, let me know in the comments if you guys have actually installed this kit and if you're feeling the difference just like I am. Cause man, is it worth it. I'm hoping to get some other bushings installed on this car as well. And of course I'll bring you guys a video of all about that. But until then, I will see you next time. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next video. Later. You guys take it easy, all right? We'll see you next time. All I need now to go to these bushings is a new new set of wheels, man, new set of tires, new set of shoes, you know what I'm saying? But until then, uh, it's just gonna be what it is, what it is gonna be, you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be calm, cool, and collected, low and slow.